Hello everyone, today we are talking about Buyer Station. This is a very popular community in Chester Springs and if you want to know a little bit more about it, you know, just spend the next few minutes with me. I have lived in the area for 25 years, I'm Bella Vora, I'm the local realtor and I know pretty much everything there is to know about this community because I have sold uh, and bought many homes here uh, for my clients. Um, the community is lar rather large. You have small two bedroom, two um, bath, um, no basement, no garage, kind of small town homes, ranging all the way to the large estate homes that sell close to a million dollars. So you have these smaller homes that sell in the 200s plus or minus some to almost a million dollars. So it's quite the variety that you have there. Uh, the neighborhood is very popular for its amenities. It has two outdoor swimming pools, which are heated, a splash pad with, you know, with the sprinklers that the kids love so much in summer. Um, they have a gym, a club, two clubhouses, they have walking trails, um, playgrounds, tennis courts, um, basketball courts. There's something in there for every anybody who look, who's looking for amenities with their new with their home. Um, the HOA fees cover a lot of this, and the HOA fees range from seventy dollars for the master association, which gives you access to all these amenities, to a uh, little more than three hundred dollars, where in the smaller townhomes, where even the exterior is covered, including snow removal, lawn care, and beds, uh, roof, um, etc. So. You know, there's quite the range here. One of my favorite um, type of homes in this community happens to be the twin homes. Uh, these are two joined together, just one common wall. Uh, they're treated like the single family homes, as in they only have the master HOA uh, fee. Uh, so that means you do have to maintain your lawn and everything and your snow removal. However, uh, my favorite model in there is the one which has a first floor uh, office with a full bath next to it, which could also be an in-law suite uh, if you needed it to be. Uh, there are multiple floor plans. I'm not too hot on one of them, but uh, I, I, that is one of my favorites. And of course, my favorites are those um, estate homes. They're gorgeous homes. This community is so large that it spans two school districts. Um, most of the homes are in the Downingtown School District, but there's a significant portion that are also in the Owen J. Roberts School District. So you have Upper Euclid Township and West Vincent Township. Um, and, uh, you know, they're great schools. You can do your school research on greatschools.org or niche.org um, for the K through 12 ratings. Um, these days, even Zillow, et cetera, have, uh, you know, uh, ratings for the schools. Uh, but one of the popular reasons, the reasons why people buy in here is because of the wonderful school district. If you're looking for younger homes, they're in the Owen J. Roberts side. The Downingtown side is the one that was developed first. And, the, you know, on an average, the homes here are a little older. Uh, one of the other reasons why people buy in this community is uh, for the um, the commutes. Your work commutes um, are, you know, pretty good from this community. Uh, you can there is Route 100 where you can have the north south commute down to Exton or Westchester or up north um, uh, to the uh, Allentown area. You can actually access the turnpike from here. The turnpike entrance is not too far away, and people actually commute up north on the turnpike all the way to Ephrata Allentown area and down south to the New Jersey area as well. Uh, there is 401k which are the back roads to get to Malvern and uh, King of Prussia area or the Great Valley Corporate Center so that commute works and uh, 100 feeds into 202 south which takes you to Delaware for the Delaware commute. So and we also have three train stations in you know Exton Downingtown area so if you need the SEPTA commute into Philly this you know neighborhood works as well. You're about 15 to 17 minutes from uh, the train stations. Um, the, so that's, you know, in terms of recreation, uh, Chester Springs is a gorgeous, beautiful area. We have Marsh Creek State Park close by where you can do some boating, walking trails, even cross-country skiing, um, and watch some gorgeous sunsets and, you know, do picnics. They even have a public swimming pool. Um, you know, the historic Yellow Springs is another, you know, gorgeous area with really old homes and um, a fabulous um, nature uh, up there. Uh, the area is protected. Uh, there is a lot of protected areas here which have a lot of natural, you know, open land. So it's not all developed and it's not, you know, city-like. You get, you know, the semi-urban feel over here. Um, so we covered schools. We covered the type of homes. Um, it also, you know, it's home to a wide range of people. There is townhomes here that have first floor uh, master suites. 
So there's downsizing seniors who live here. And the, the Pickering Valley Elementary School is one of the blue ribbon, one of the better, you know, very high ranking schools here. And so there's a lot of elementary level parents, uh, parents with elementary level school children who prefer to move in this neighborhood for that school district. So it's quite the range of people that you see here and they enjoy the community feel, they enjoy the ice cream socials and movie nights in summer. Uh, it's a truly enjoyable community for everybody. Um, if you have any more questions, you can put them down here. If you live in Pyre Station, please give it a two thumbs up. I'd love to see any Pyre Station people watching this video and share your experiences about living in this community. This is Bella Vora signing off. Look out for my more community information neighbor and neighborhood videos in my YouTube channel. Thank you.